Hello guys, so today I'll be showing you how to debug PHP in Visual Studio Code. You can see that this is a PHP file and some code is written here, but you know, there is a way to debug the PHP code in the IDE like Visual Studio Code. How you can do that? Because you know, normally because it's a server side language, so you need to save it, you need to run it on the browser and the browser shows the error and sometimes you need to go to the server uh, the server log files to see the error but for now uh, you can debug the code inside the Visual Studio code you need to click on the extension and you need to write the PHP debug like this and once you do that PHP debug okay and once you do that here is uh, the PHP debugger uh, you know made by xdebug.org you need to install that once you finish installing you can simply close that there is a new button just appeared it was not here previously so because everything is fine for now uh, I'm gonna click on the run PHP file button and uh, okay it runs and I'm gonna go there to the debugger it says the PHP project runs it actually echoing you know the data we just wrote here now for example I make some issues here I write something like you know W V A R. It it's nothing. It's just you know just to ruin the code. I did I did that. I'm gonna click on the debug PHP file, and there is an error. Unexpected token var expecting comma or semicolon. So you know it it's actually you know it's giving you the errors here in the debugger instead of in the browser. So that's an interesting thing. Now you do not need to go to the browser. To get the errors to get to get your file debugged but you can do that on a real-time coding like this one 